All Aboard, bringing you board games. Tonight on All Aboard. In Boss Monster, we play the part of the villain in a side-scrolling retro video game. We will build dungeons filled with monsters and traps, and then lure in adventurers with the promise of treasures and riches. However, we need to make sure that our dungeons are as deadly as they are attractive because if the heroes make it to the final room alive, they might end up killing us instead. Hi guys, I'm Pat. And I'm Gly. Thank you very much for visiting All Aboard. So in Boss Monster, we started with five room cards and two spell cards. That's yeah. right. And the game is going to continue on until one of us has 10 souls or until one of us takes five wounds. So at the end of the round where someone has 10 souls, the person with the most souls wins. Or if somebody gets five wounds, then they're out of the game, they're killed, and it's game over, the other person wins. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going with the boss Robobaw, Angry Golem. So when I level up, each opponent must choose and destroy one room in his or her dungeon. I started with 400 Ooh. XP and one fighting icon. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's not a nice yeah. level up for me. Okay, and I'm going to be Draculord. The hypnotic so vampire. <laughs> yeah. So Draculord has 900 XP and he comes with a cleric icon and when he levels up the target opponent reveals his or her hand to you. Take one card and put it into your hand. Ah, that's not cool. <laughs> okay. Let's attack here. Yes. Yeah. All right. So um, we level up. Our bosses level up once we build five rooms in our dungeon. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. And the way each round will go is at the start, we'll have to play one room from our hand into our dungeon. And after that, then we will start the game proper. So that means that there's going to be two heroes coming out into town. We'll flip over two cards and we'll draw another room card. Then we'll get to play a room in our dungeon and we'll play those face down and then reveal them simultaneously. And then we'll check the symbols on the heroes. dungeon and on the heroes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. whoever has the most of the symbol that the hero wishes for is going to be the one who will host oh. the hero. So the hero is going to go to their dungeon. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then they will lose health as they go through the rooms. And if we manage to take all of their health off them, then we keep the hero as a soul. Or if they make it right through to our monster, then we take a wound. So as we were saying, 10, ten souls will end the game and five, five wounds. wounds will end the game in a negative yeah. way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Don't and wanna be wounded. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, no. And mm. so the XP is just basically to decide who goes first in each round. So Draculord has nine hundred XP, so Draculord is going to go first each time. But at the end of the game, if there's a tie, first of all we'll check to see who has the most wounds. So if we both have the same amount of souls the person with the most wounds will lose. Mm -hmm. And if that's still a tie, then the boss with the lowest XP is going to win. Oh. Okay, I think that's enough to understand the game. Yeah. So, so there's two different types of rooms. There's trap rooms and there's monster rooms. So yeah. we have to play, and there are ordinary rooms and there's advanced rooms. So we have to play ordinary rooms at the start. Mm -hmm. And an advanced room can only go on top of an ordinary room that has the same symbol on it. But... An ordinary room can go on top of any other rooms. And Regardless of, course, of the symbol. Exactly, yeah? yes, mm -hmm. yes. Or it can go just to the left of the boss, the, of mm -hmm. course, but to a maximum of five rooms. Okay, right. so now we have to choose our starting cards. Okay. All right. All right. So okay. let's see. Okay, so I'm playing, I'm building Witch's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's a monster room. Once per turn, you may discard a monster room card to draw a spell card. So I can also oh. discard a card from my hand. Monster card. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, and I am going to play the Neanderthal ah. Cave. So this, this room, you cannot build an advanced room on Neanderthal Cave, but it does take three health. Oh. All right. All right. And so our let's heroes see come to town. The heroes are. It's the mage. Okay. And the cleric. Oh, oh one okay. each, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, depending on our yeah. first cards, yes. Okay. So let's get our room card. Okay. Mm -hmm. One for me. Oh, exactly what I wanted. 
So they both have four health. So here is the icon for health, and each of these heroes has four health. So we have to try to trap those in our dungeons. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to build this one. I'm going to fill this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll flip them over. I build a bottomless pit. You may destroy this room to kill a hero in this room. Okay. Mm. And I'm building the Goblin Armory, which is a monster room. And monster rooms adjacent to this room have plus one. So, plus one damage, that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that means that my Neanderthal cave here now does four damage. And now we'll see where the adventurers are going to go. So yeah. the mage is going to go to you because you have one icon and I have none. Mm -hmm. And the cleric will come my way. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so I process first because I have higher XP. So the cleric is Dies. <laughs> Nick the Masher. Let's see what Nick the Masher does. The young cleric was well armed and brave enough to take on the dragon king himself. His credo? I bash it with my mace. <laughs> oh. Okay, and the cleric is going to go to the goblin armory and take one damage. And then he's going to come to the Neanderthal cave and take three plus one, another four. So he is my first soul. So for my mage is the Tig and the magic bubble. Armed with his trusty bubble, Tig braves <laughs> dangerous castles and dungeons in search of the musical instruments stolen from his people. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, he's going to go here in my bottomless pit, but uh, I'm going to destroy. You may destroy this room to kill a hero in this room. Okay. So I'm going to destroy the bottomless pit. All and right. It's now one of my soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we are back then to the heroes arriving in town. Yeah. And we've got the fool and the thief. And we draw a room. Draw a room card. Okay. Mm. So we have a thief and a fool. So the fool is going to go to whoever has the least number of souls. Soul. Mm -hmm. And then the thief at the moment is not going anywhere because none of us have a thief icon, right? Yes. Okay. Unless we do something about that now. So I am going to this the card I'm going to build okay this is my room mm -hmm. okay and reveal them so I have the brain sucker hive Ooh. <laughs> once per turn if a hero dies in this room you may draw a spell card all right and for me it's the Minotaur's maze the first time a hero enters this room send it back to the previous room oh mm -hmm. oh that's a very nice card so the fool isn't going anywhere and the thief isn't going anywhere either, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two more heroes come into town and we have a fighter. Ah, definitely yours, a fighter, huh? And a mage. Oh, that mage is very strong. Look at that, he has eight. Wow. Uh, same as the thief down here, actually, yeah. Ooh. Okay. And then we draw a room card. And a new room card, that's correct. So I'm going to build this card. Okay, I'll play this one. Okay. So I'm going to reveal our cards. So oh, oh, we both say <laughs> golem, golem factory. Yeah. So yeah. golem factory is once per turn. If a hero dies in this room, draw a room card. Okay. Mm. And the same. Yeah. <laughs> and so the fool isn't going anywhere for now. Mm -hmm. The thief isn't going anywhere, right? Do yes. you have a thief icon? No. no. The fighter is going to come to m nowhere. No, he's no, coming to me. Yes, one, I have four. One, two, three, four, yeah. Okay, so the fighter will come here. And the mage he's is going, going to stay where he is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so the fighter is Bowden the Pantless. <laughs> he's <laughs> not wearing any pants here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Bowden's courage is matched only by his forgetfulness. The quest to find his misplaced armor continues. <laughs> so he's lost his armor somewhere and he's going through my dungeon to see if he can find it. And he has four health. So he goes here for two, 
and here for four and dies. Yeah. Now once per turn, if a hero dies in this room, I can draw a spell card. So I get a spell for that and I get a soul. I get the soul of Bowden the Pantless. Yeah. And on my turn, I'm going to use my Witch Kitchen, where I can discard a monster room to draw a spell card. I'm going to discard it and draw a spell card. Okay. Hmm. So next is a new hero in town. There's yeah. a lot of heroes in town. Yeah. Cleric. Oh. Oh. And he's strong and as well. Thief. Cleric and a thief. Okay. Cleric and a thief. They're both strong. And let's get a room card. And we get a new room card. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So let's so see. Reveal. Yep. And I've got Jackpot a stash. Jackpot stash. Okay. And what does that do? Uh, it does is you may destroy this room to double the treasure value of your dungeon's rooms until end of the turn. Okay. Okay. So you're going to have a lot of guys coming through there if that works out. Yeah. I think I will have the thief. And uh, how about you? Oh, okay. mine is the zombie prison. So. I can destroy this room to choose a face down hero in an opponent's scorekeeping area and send it back to the entrance of that player's dungeon. Mm. And now that's my fifth card, so I level up. So I can look at your hand and I can take one card and put it into my hand. Take one card? Yep. Mm -hmm. So let me see what you have here. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? This is so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> you could just take oh, it to like, I like else these is ones. Like, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I like these. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take one of these two. Let me decide which one. One of these two. You can only take one. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I can take one of these two. Um, Okay, I'll take this one here from you. So I'm taking your Beast Menagerie. Mm. I'm sure there's other ones you would have worse. <laughs> well, you would have hated me to take more, but... Okay, so... Alright, so now we... Are you going to destroy this? Uh, no, you don't have Thief, right? Yeah, I think you don't have Thief, so... Mm -hmm, but you will get the Cleric. Uh, oh, you'll get the cleric and the mage. How many? One, two, three, four. If I double that. Mm, no, I'm not going to destroy that just yet. Okay, so the fool is going to come to you. Mm -hmm. The thief is going to go to you. Yeah. The mage Please. is going to go to me. Yeah. The cleric is also going to come to me, I believe. Yeah. And the thief. And the thief will go to you. Wow. Okay, and so I will process them first. So the first one is our mage. And he is Dartion, elf pyromancer. Mm -hmm. Some elves just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> so he has eight. Wow, can I? Yes, I can. Okay. So he'll take one, two, three... Four, five, five and this one six because of the goblin armory beside it. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So okay, so Double he dead. is gone. Yep. And next we have the cleric, and this is Delatorius, angel of light, created by the goddess of light to defend Arcadia. This kid angel never misses a shot with his enchanted crossbow. So let's see if. If uh, Delatorius is able to make it through <laughs> through Draculord's dungeon. So he comes in here and takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and oh, Delatorius dead. is gone. So the fool, where it says, the fool is lured to the dungeon of the player with the fewest souls, which is me. So he gets damage here for one, and then he dies here. For three, okay. one and three. So you get to draw a room card. 
Yes, because he dies here. Once per turn, if a hero dies in here, you draw a room card. Okay, and for the thief. So the thief is 8, huh? So 1, 2, 3, and then he comes here, come back here. Mm -hmm. So 3, 4, 5, and then 5, and then I'm going to play my teleportation, which is send a hero in your dungeon back to the first room of your dungeon. Oh. It continues to move through your dungeon this turn, yeah? Okay. So, uh, just give me one second. So one, two, three, it comes back here, four, five, then here, six, and then he comes back here, seven, eight, nine. So he's dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is now gone. My spell. So the health of the thief is six. So that's one, two, three, and he comes back here, and then he gets back again. Three, four, five here and six so oh, you dead. just managed to yeah, get him okay I just managed to get him mm -hmm. okay so next is our new heroes yeah it's the fighter another fighter and a thief a fighter and a thief a okay and our and room a cards and room card okay so this is my room okay and okay i am going to play this one mm -hmm. okay yeah so, so i'm going to play the bottomless pit so it says you may destroy this room to kill a hero in this room so now okay. i'm on my uh level up i level up so its opponent must choose and destroy one room in his or her dungeon. So you have oh, to destroy okay. one room. Yeah, and so I haven't. I'm I'm playing the dragon hatchery, mm -hmm. and I was going to play it here, I guess. But now I have to destroy one room. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's tough. I don't want to destroy any of them. You have to destroy. You okay. look at my hand earlier. So, <laughs> so. Okay, so I'm going to place the dragon hatchery and I should have seen that you were going to do that, right? Which one? I should have seen that you were going to oh. uh, play that card and then I could have played my worst one. But how and ever, I will destroy this dragon hatchery that I just built. You are going to destroy it. Yeah. Okay, so me, I am going to destroy also my jackpot oh, okay. stash to double all of my icons or treasures so that means this I have two two thieves I have oh I have six. four five ah six fighters yeah so they're both going to go to you yeah okay so this is now gone and thief and the fighter okay so first is I'm going to get the thief which is Joman Chim, cut purse. From the twinkle in his eye, you may think he comes bearing gifts until you check your empty pockets. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a thief. So the thief will go here. So one, two, three, here, and then comes back here, four. So I get to draw a room card. Oh, that's been mm. very useful for you. Room card. Okay, and for the fighter, am I able to... One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to need a spell? I will need a spell. Uh -huh. uh, no, no. I, I have to... He has to die here. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to kill him in the bottomless pit. Oh, okay. Yeah? So you have to destroy that? Yeah, I have to destroy the bottomless pit. And it's back here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so next is the new heroes. The new heroes in town, yeah. Uh, another fighter. Okay. And a mage. And a mage, okay. Mm -hmm. And they're both six, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna play this building, this room. Okay, and I'll play this one. Okay, let's yeah. see. 
Okay, so it's my beast menagerie. Oh, that used you to be your beast menagerie. <laughs> that used to be mine. It did. So the brain sucker hive. Once per turn, if a hero dies in this room, you may draw a spell card. Okay. The fool can only die in this room. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And this is once per turn, when you build another monster room, draw a room card. And I'm going to put that, it has to go on top of another fighting room. So I am going to put that on top of my gun factory because it's an advanced yeah, monster. Yeah, advanced monster. So back, to, back to deciding where they go. So the fighter is going to come to me, I believe. Yeah. I have four swords. And the we both have two, two mages. mages. Yeah. So he's not going anywhere. Okay, so, so. let me process this fighter. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go one. And four is five, and he's going to die in here, so I can draw a spell card. Okay. And for my turn, I'm going to use my witch kitchen, so I will discard a room card to draw a spell card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, all right. So next is a new hero. Oh, new heroes in town. Oh, this is our Larry. first epic hero. And a mage. And a new room. Sorry. Okay, so a room. Get a room. And a room for me as well. Okay, and we play our cards. Yeah, so. play our cards. Okay. So that is my deck. Okay, and oh, but that's thirteen, right? It's a lot. Oh, this is tough. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to build a room this time. You're going to be a build. So I'm going to build the uh, dark altar. You may destroy this room to choose one card from the discard pile and put it in your hand. Okay. Yeah, so that's two clerics. So I think we both have two mage and two cleric. So okay, you got two there. clerics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Another hero in town clerics and a thief oh okay. 13 oh that's difficult okay yeah, and some room cards okay i'll play this card okay and i will play oh it's very tense okay i will play this one play that one okay yeah so then I play the construction zone trap. A uh, construction zone trap room. When you build this room, you may immediately build an additional room. Oh wow! Okay. So I am going to. So where are you building this? Uh, just give me one second. Still thinking. Uh, actually, I'm supposed to go first, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's centipede tunnel. When you build this room, you may swap the placement of two rooms in any one dungeon. So I'm going to build this. Okay, I think I can play it here. Okay. And so where's your one? Uh, uh, this one? <laughs> yeah, the first time he <laughs> enters this room. Okay, so he can come all the way down to the end here. So this will go here. No, no, they, they swap, I don't they? I swap, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, let me just double check that. Yeah, swap the placement of two. Okay. okay, so this will go here. And now you have to hmm. decide where to put him. So he has yeah. over a sword or a thief. So uh, you're sure going to go here because this now becomes a little bit useless there. Okay. And then because of, because of my construction zone, which says when you build this room, you may immediately build an additional room. I'm going to build my all seeing eye room oh that's a good room yeah which it will go here so once per turn when an opponent plays a spell card you may discard a spell card to cancel its effect wow okay so i think we have two mage two cleric so the cleric and the mage are still there but the thief will go to me Oh, they will go okay. to me. Oh, 13. 13, huh? <laughs> so that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
okay so what I'm going to do is I am going so this is one and I'm going to play my cave in destroy a room in your dungeon kill any hero in that room okay. yeah so I will kill the thief and this hero the constructions I sorry this room will now be destroyed wow. and my spell is out mm -hmm. wow so that was very good for you how many have you now I got two four six eight I see okay so now another two new heroes oh this is yours fighter for sure and then a thief and uh, let's get mm -hmm. a room deck I uh, room card okay okay I'm going to play this card uh, just give me yeah yeah I'm going to play this card okay I'll play this one okay so let's see so I'm going to play the boulder rump you may destroy another room in your dungeon to deal 5 damage to one hero in this room. You may activate this multiple times per turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you? Okay, I've got the monsters ballroom. So the room damage is equal to the number of monster rooms in your dungeon. And I'm going to just put that here. So I think they're all monster rooms. So that's going to be worth 5. Worth 5... Uh, damage. 5 damage, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay so, so this will go here. Okay, and that's so that's a regular room, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and now that we're still in the build phase, I'm also going to do a zombie attack on you. So mm -hmm. choose a dead hero in an opponent's scorekeeping area and send it back to the entrance of that player's dungeon. Until the end of the turn, it has plus two health. So I'll take your epic hero. Oh my god. And he can go back to your entrance. And okay. now he has 15 for this round. Wow. And the fighter will come here to me, right? Yeah. And the, the thief, thief will, will go come. to you. And then the rest of those will stay where they are. And I'm going to play my freeze. And I'm going to freeze your bis. Oh, just give me one second. Ah, okay. So for the... For your um, zombie attack, I am going to discard a spell to uh, cancel that one. Because mm, I okay. have the all-seeing eye. So I'm going okay. to... So both our zombies <laughs> are okay. gone. So my thief is back here. All right. Okay, so my fighter goes one, two, three, four, five, five. and five is ten. And then I'm going to teleport him back to the beginning oh. of the jungle, and then not the jungle, the dungeon. And then he gets killed Get here. here. Okay. Okay, so there's a fighter. So and then these two are now discarded. So for me, is is 11, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to, that's one, but I'm going to destroy. Uh, you may destroy another room in your dungeon to deal five damage to one hero in this room. Oh, okay. Okay, so the thief is going, this is going to be a one, but I'm going to uh, destroy my golem factory for additional five. So that would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it just and, about kills him, yeah. Yeah, and he's dead. Oh, is that your so 10 points? now <laughs> I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 oh, you win. <laughs> Well done. Thank you very much. I was able to build and destroy the bottomless pit twice and take out a hero. That was awesome, especially when the epic heroes came and they all have 11 or more health. Being able to take out a hero, regardless of their health level, is massive. You always need to keep an eye on your opponent's dungeon in Boss Monster. You need to make sure you have enough icons to attract the heroes that you can kill, and it's also nice if you can get your opponent to take monsters they can't overpower. When Pat used his zombie attack spell to bring back one of my epic heroes to life, I was like, ah! It's good that I have the all-seeing eye room that counteracts any spell. That was a relief. Spell cards make a big difference in Boss Monster. 
Just when your opponent thinks you're about to take a wound, it's great if you can pull out a spell to increase the damage of your rooms. That adds a fun surprise element to the game. Pat had a lot of fighter icons but no thief icon, so I focused on making sure that I had a thief icon so that the thief heroes would come to my dungeon. I guess that's where I slowly collected my souls. I really thought that I had enough icons to attract the clerics to my dungeon, but then Gly pulled out the Dark Altar which had two cleric icons on it. She played a great game and well done to her. So that's it for today, you have been watching All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for staying with us and we'll see you again on our next video. Bye! Bye!